Here we are going to see how to do goose between Mycom and Siemens relay. This is the SLD. From this, the line isolator and the earth isolator is taken to Mycom P543. And we are using another one BCU relay, is a Siemens. For that BCU relay, the isolator status is required. For that, I am going to take a signal from Mycom to Siemens through Goose for these two isolator status. Ok, we see how we are going to make this. First to open Mycom S1 Studio and over there click PSL logic sheet. You have configured isolator for an input. I am going to map one virtual output for over here. Again, for isolator Q87, I am assigning virtual output 1 and isolator Q86 as a earth switch. Am I assigning virtual output 2? After assigning, just save and close this window. and go to MCL file on MCL file you create a data sheet and add the virtual output you can add more virtual output if in future they want to assess anything they can configure for that without affecting IEC file so I am making a virtual more virtual output and I am going to publish this if you want to know more about the MCL file you can see the links which I given below in description
after assigning give validity and check the validity and save the file then you can export the file in CID and ICD but if you export the file in CID you cannot able to import in station after exporting I'm going to keep it in one path let's see later before importing this CID file into the station I'm going to configure Dixie to input which is going to access this virtual output I am opening Dixie file now on Dixie file I am going to make a user defined to EXSP ID EX is for getting external single point And then I am making configuration on system interference on system interference I am making system interference I am I am making GIGO sheet 10 and point 1 after making I am going to save this file and then I am going to open the station file
going to add IEDs over station. When you go for importing, you can see now, you can able to see now ICD file. And once it add, once your file is imported, you go to network and you merge with your subnet. Then you can go directly to the Goose. Here you no need to create Goose application. Since the Goose publish is created in MCL file, the Goose application will be created defaultly over here. Only you need to select the so file from your source. But when you go for goose between a yes, Siemens and Mycom relay will get this message FC level. This is due to the status value over the signal which you got in virtual output is having ST value and Q value all values it will be having. So we have to change into ST value. You can see how to change you click on st stat value the right hand side you can see FC CD mapping or that if there is one selection option will be there ST click on that and select ST value like that you do remaining all and then you drag and drop from destination to your source our destination is Q89 open is a line isolator is assigned for virtual output 1 and Q86 is a earth isolator is assigned for virtual output 2 after assigning you save the file and go for updating the station after updating you can write this file to the relay and you can see the goose <laughs>
If you think this video is useful for your friend, you can share this video to your friends. Thank you for watching this video.